Hello everyone, this is Jordan and I have a few interesting longer term than usual uh, opportunities for you. They come from the um, stocks that I'm going to cover in a second. So let's go ahead and jump to the charts. The first one is going to be, let me just open the drawing to Renault. Now this is the weekly chart in Renault and what we are looking at here is first of all this double wave. Of course we can go ahead and find different kind of counts inside of it but uh, to make your life simple let's just work with the double wave idea. And as you can see we reached the 48 zone which is 100% extension. Next we have all these divergences and the divergence is supported by the idea of this false break. So we have false break number one, pull back, false break number two, move up again, no higher highs created, and then we have false break number three. So clearly the momentum here is really exhausted and my idea would be for possible continuation upwards. Of course, we need to first of all see some kind of confirmation on the lower time frames, which is going to confirm the bullish trend. And the way to do that is either by um, getting the convergence idea, which is the reversal setup, or getting impulsive moves on daily or four hour chart, which we can later on get the pullbacks and enjoy the buys. Until that happens, it's a perfect structure, it's a great setup, but we don't have yet a point where we can go ahead and pull the trigger on it. All right, that's about Societe Generale. Uh, no, that's no. Societe Generale is the next one. Let me remove the objects. Here we are dealing with the pretty much same idea, but the, um, the count is slightly different. So we can say we are looking at a five leg structure here. Okay and we can say that we see bullish divergence which means the least we should be looking at is corrective pattern here i think we are going to get deeper corrections from what we saw here because some might suggest that this is the abcd and it already happened in my idea this is not abcd this should be looked at as a triple wave of some sort which is currently forming and this is where the idea actually comes from in terms of the buys so dropping down to the daily chart we can see a trend line and we can see a triple structure with divergence already forming there i'm not saying it will drop immediately we might still get this Okay, and that would be perfectly fine, but whether it's this or that, the idea is to go ahead and buy. In other words, leg number one, leg number two, in terms of the correction. Okay, when we work with daily combined with uh, weekly and the four hour charts. So that's about Sete General again, looking for possible bullish scenarios. And then we've got Vivendi on the list also and here what i'm looking at the way i read it is this okay we got this pattern broken continuation up and now this okay so i do expect it to continue here and even though we have the five leg structure and the minimum of 127 is reached, 161.8 is still there and we don't have the divergence, which means I would be looking for these buys. Now, I do trade these kind of patterns two ways, in two ways. First one is the aggressive one, which is buying whatever the structure we have is. If the direction is up, I would be looking to buy the bottom of this structure, corrective pattern, right? And this is aggressive because the pattern is not confirmed until we get the breakout. 
which means that might look like a triangle, it might act like a triangle, but never get the breakout up. That's why buying here is aggressive. And when I say buy, I'm not saying once the price reaches that zone, open a trade. No, we have ways to define when the price is going to that zone, how to enter, etc, etc. It always comes with confirmation. We don't pull the trigger just like that. And of course, the more conservative way would be to use the breakout towards that 28.27 zone. And the last one I have on the list would be BMW. <clears throat> now for BMW, we can jump to the monthly chart. And this is where we're going to see that 61.8 Fibonacci extension was just reached. All right, there is divergence here, no divergence here. That means at least pullback should be provided if we're going to continue lower. And since this is monthly and weekly chart, these pullbacks could be more than enough for us to make some money. There is a channel coming from the top. Okay, and looking at that channel, we can go ahead and identify the next bearish cycle, which confirmed um, the end of it right here with this divergence. That means in case we get a break above this high and we manage to form higher highs and we get the momentum that we're looking for during the breakout, pullbacks should be something for us to go ahead and enjoy. Naturally, we're going to draw a trend line. So in terms of simple steps, this is how it should like approximately, right? something like that all right guys so that would be all um, for this video if you have any questions let me know and i would like to ask you a question how do you handle cfds on your broker it's very um, interesting about the fees of course this is what majority of the people are bothered with so if you can share your comment on this part i would really appreciate it and last, don't forget to join us in our Telegram channel, completely free. Me and Vladimir are posting educational materials, trading setups, anything that comes to mind in terms of trading. You can find the link below. Wishing you a wonderful one.